Howdy, 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 my beautiful Leo. How are you doing, darling? My name is Simply Valka, and today we're going to be getting into your monthly tarot reading here, Leo, for July 2022, all right? So if you enjoy this tarot reading today, let me know in the comments below how this tarot reading resonates, because it lets me know that there's a, you know, it's just, it's nice to talk to people, right, and keep up with y'all. As well as if you do enjoy this monthly tarot reading, Leo, I would appreciate if you were to give this video a like and subscribe. It helps out this channel a lot, and it's completely free to do, darling, right? If you're not part of the family, what you doing, honey? all right be sure leo to check out your sun moon rising and venus sign because that's how you make the most out of these youtube general tarot readings for your zodiac is to customize the energy to your chart all right so uh we're going to be getting into three rows here my beautiful leo all right we're going to be getting into your career and financial situation for july your social life platonic or romantic relationship and then some general predictions darling all right so let's get right into this here what's going on for my leo's uh career and financial for <clears throat> for july all the swords darling ace two as well as the knight of swords coming in here for you guys leo all right i feel like you guys are making july the month of creating something i get this sense that at some point in time you're going to be getting like this uh sense of just like a download of a purpose leo i feel like there's gonna be a project that you guys finally start taking action on i feel like especially it's like some type of creative pursuit something motivates you during the month of july you get a really prosperous idea that you need to it's like yeah it's let me use an analogy for an example leo it's like maybe perhaps that you've always had this desire to create content on some level i feel as if in july the pieces are just going to align just right where the situation uh is like just perfect for you to uh start taking physical action towards this creative idea i feel as if for many of you guys once you start going into this creative pursuit here that you have uh it's going to be opening a lot of doors for you in the coming days all right so this is you know honor your thoughts honor your creative ideas for the month of july darling all right and we'll unpack that more in a little bit uh leo with some clarifiers in a bit but let's take a look at your social life for july here darling all right mm -mm. All right, Page of Cups, Death card coming in here with the Two of Wands stepping forward. All right, this is a two-part message here, Leo. I feel like for some of you guys, uh, you're going to be having some connection come back into your life here, darling, all right, that you at one point closed off. I, felt, I feel as if... Um, this is a connection that you saw some depth with someone that you could see yourself for the long term this isn't just like a um casual friend that maybe you've known for like a couple of months this is like someone that you wouldn't mind coming back in to work talk about the problems here right because i know there is a problem with the five of wands being in the back of the deck here all right so some of you leaders are going to be having someone from the past coming back in here trying to work things out for you all right we even have the knight of cups afterwards when i pulled that five of wands from the back of the deck so definitely you're going to be um receiving communication from quite a few people darling all right leo as well for many of you guys darling i feel like for this is going to be for our other leaders where it's like you're just closing something off like i feel like you're entering july a little bit lighter or maybe it's like dealing with like the aftermath for the first like week or so of july but you're getting rid of um your move <laughs> that sounds aggressive doesn't it leo right uh i feel as if you are disconnecting removing yourself from situations that are just conflict and drama for you and i feel as if that opens the door for you leo to bring forth some new solid connections page of cups represents new connections coming into your life as well as the deepening of current ones all right so it really can go either way for y'all's social life all right but overall like y'all's dms y'all's phone is not going to be dry whatsoever leo that is for sure for the month of july so now let's take a look in regards to some general predictions for you, Leo. Let's see what, what good predictions we got going on for you this month. King of Pentacles coming in here, Nine of Wands stepping forward with the Two of Cups. You know, this doesn't surprise me, Leo. All right. You know, this is literally like the epitome of where it's just like you're laying down the groundwork for your business pursuits, for your creative ideas. All right. I feel like in the career aspect, you know, you're just doing due diligence. You're building an empire. You are um, getting more rooted with your financial situation with your job all right 
But the main uh, focus, it seems to be for July for you, Leo, seems to be relationships here. All right. Uh, with this two of cups next to this nine of wands wounded warrior here, this is a message where you need to um, give yourself more credit, Leo. I feel like you're taking on the burden of everything when it comes to certain relationships in your life while well, you need to realize that it's a two-way street it takes two to tango right when it comes to relationships in your life um yes there might be some stuff that you could improve but it's uh, on the other side as well there's some stuff that you could improve on as well all right um so i feel like in that regard you guys need to give yourself more credit in july here but as well i just feel as if relationships are going to be the main focus for you leo all right you guys are going to be developing some new relationships and deepening of your current ones here all right but overall this is a very stable month for you guys i feel leo all right overall i can't complain about this now let's get a little bit more of a focus in regards to your financial career here leo all right because this is what's the most interesting this is what could potentially be the most complicated uh aspect of your month here darling all right <laughs> um so i'm getting for many of you guys you are in your head i feel as if right now leo i feel this sense of um I don't know if you guys are going through like a quarter life crisis darling or just i feel like you need you are craving more action like you want to create something i feel as if you're getting bored all right and so what i want you to do for the month of july is just to take a notebook leo and just write down any type of creative idea any type of uh personal pursuit that you've wanted to accomplish leo all right think bigger picture for you all right because i feel like during the month of july that's where the inspiration is going to be coming for you here all right when you have the blessing of the ace of swords there um it's really positive but you have to make the choice leo of where it's just like all right do you want to choose emotional fulfillment all right whether which comes to some more risks or with that two of swords darling do you want to uh keep to the same path because it's safe because um it pays the bills right but i feel as if you know you're getting a little bit uh you know it's time for a change here right page of pentacles king of cups with the hanged man stepping forward here to you all right leo so it's time for a change for you in the month of july is that time for you is the opportune time for you to uh honor these actions honor these thoughts here if you want to create a new stream of revenue with that page of pentacles darling now is the time all right what are you waiting for here all right king of cups energy you guys need to the main challenge here for you guys is your emotional stability here all right making sure that you have trust you have faith in yourself getting your anxiety under control when it comes to taking this risk but it is necessary right you have to uh what is the phrase it's like either piss or get off the pot darling right uh and that's one of those t uh, situations it is for you leo and now is the time of any this is the best time of any darling if you are going to um create something creatively for this year july seems to be the big month for you all right now let's get into your social life here with that two of wands uh page of cups as well as that death energy uh leo so as i was saying beforehand when it comes to relationships like that seems to be the main focus of y'all's lives right now leo i feel as if you guys are closing off just relationships in general that um <clears throat> well let's click take a look here why do we have those death situations hierophant okay so you are cutting off situations this is what i felt intuitively i should have just went along with it before rather than pulling a card but oh well darling all right the hierophant is that devoted energy the hierophant is that energy where it's like it's searching for substance it's searching to always have its perspective be broadened uh leo and so i feel like for you the, real, the reason why certain relationships haven't been working out or have been starting to get sour for you, Leo, I feel like the reason is, is because it's like you're in this hierophant energy where you're searching for deeper meaning, right? You, It's like your eyes glaze over when you start talking to people and they all they want to talk about is like um, super f surface level stuff, right? You want people that you can relate to more all right you want people that you can relate to more and i feel like for some of you leos that will be coming in through the shape of creative pursuits um all right 
so that's why i feel like you're closing off certain situations like i feel like you couldn't trust them or it's just like you're always were in your head about them and always questioning like what their intent was like i feel like you're just trying to step away from the mind games and searching to be elevated rather than to um <clears throat> be distracted six of swords as well as the four of swords here yeah this is a time for you guys to just be detaching leo all right and we don't want to be neglecting that page of cups energy the reason why I the spirit is telling you at this time to just be disconnected from these relationships that we're just talking about darling is because uh, there's new energy afoot for you darling all right some of you guys are f very unfulfilled when it comes to your relationships here and spirits just sitting there asking you is just like well why are you still entertaining these connections here are you guys giving yourself these excuses telling yourself being like no i have i have to talk to this certain family member you know or what you know we always give ourselves these excuses to remain comfortable but we still complain about certain people in our lives and i feel like this is the month for you to really leo just disconnect from the surface level connections and go deep go with that ace of swords ask the deeper questions all right as you start some of you guys might be feeling inspired leo to be delving more into deeper into the occult perhaps leo and i feel like that would be like you're going to be finding your tribe the more that you the more depth that you look for in your life all right the reason why you're getting service level connections now or just underwhelming connections now is because it's like you probably have learned a lot about yourself recently and coming in the recent months uh leo and i feel as if you just went through that upgrade process and now like you know it's kind of like that sense of where it's just, where it's like someone goes through a cleanse and then like after that they can no longer handle the taste of artificial foods and stuff like that all right and i feel like that's what's going on for you here all right i do see a lot of travel for you guys getting into your predictions here with that king of pentacles uh nine of wands and two of cups coming in here dar darling and these cards are clarifying this the tower eight of wands as well as the lover's energy here all right this is the month for you to be disconnecting all right this is the month for you leo to be asking for more substance in your relationships here all right ask yourself the question of who are you the five, who are the five closest people around you and do they properly re represent who you truly are leo and do they represent the ty type of future that you want to build for yourself all right because that's a very popular quote that is uh said because it's true it's you are the company that you are you, that you keep darling all right and i feel like at this certain point in time for you leo it's like you have evolved quite a bit darling but your your circles haven't really evolved um your social circles haven't really evolved your creative pursuits haven't really evolved it's still just like the surface level stuff you haven't thought bigger picture deeper meaning to it. you haven't started taking action on bigger things right maybe you're just so used to always being the student leo that the idea of taking a more lost up role as that king of pentacles that we have for you intimidates you right you are suffering through that imposter syndrome because you're still in your this new bossed up level of your skin is still fresh for you probably leo right and that's understandable but awareness is 80 percent of the battle darling all right and so be honest with, be honest with yourself here leo as well as don't gaslight yourself don't uh degrade yourself here at this time i feel as if so it's especially in the society here the biggest mistake so many people will have is to feel as if that they are always the problem when it comes to toxic situations or let's not even say toxic situations just situations that just no longer are for them anymore right leo it's so hard for people to conceptualize the idea that it's just like sometimes you truly just outgrow a situation and you know there's no hard feelings no one has to be at fault no one has to be the villain right you're just going into a new path because that's just you're human and you're actively evolving so uh that's what we have for that leo let's get into your oracle cards for this month as well for july darling Darling. hopefully this tarot reading was of resonance to you darling all right um i really enjoyed doing this reading for you leo so you have the first quarter moon in capricorn unleash your kindest self darling unleash your kindest self i feel like some of you leos are not able to tap into your kindest self due to again the company that you keep right maybe you're around uh, relationships in your life right it's maybe like a mother figure father figure siblings darling where it's like you can never really get intimate or like uh lovey dovey like in the way that you want to or be more vulnerable and you know, just, let's just keep it that way be more vulnerable leo i feel like you feel like you can't 
due to the company that you keep. And that's, again, still dampening your light. That's still making it hard for you to tap into these uh, true versions of yourself. So again, ask yourself if you cannot 100% authentically be yourself around people without being grossed by them or you feeling um, judged by them, then why are you keeping them around, Leo? You have the first quarter moon in Virgo. Assess the situation here. Uh, for you, Leo, this is a time of evaluation for you, reflecting on what it is that you are doing. All right. Very much so. If you feel as if you haven't gone through your midlife or quarter life crisis, darling Leo, it's going to be happening really soon here, darling. All right. That is without question here. All right. I feel as if the month of July for you is you're assessing what actually fulfills you. You're searching for the deeper meaning on things. You're Again, you're just social media, even as of recent days, might have been turning you off recently. Tarot readings. I even want to be saying some of you might even be turned off from tarot readings um consuming those as well because you're just searching for more depth all right i feel like this is a really strong calling for my leos to spiritually start going within because that's really what a spiritual journey is is like going within all right um this is a time for you to not search for outside uh inspiration or guidance for your spiritual journey this is some it's time for you to really go within full moon in taurus naturally we have the detoxify here i didn't even notice this right so <laughs> yeah i mean i don't feel like we need to go into further detail with this here leo i feel like this kind of summarizes everything i was just saying darling but yeah, I hope this tarot reading for the month of July gave you some clarity, Leo. All right, so please let me know in the comments below if it did resonate with you. Be sure to give this video a like and subscribe. Remember, Leo, if you want to book a private reading with me, go to my website, simplyvelka.com. All right, linked down below next to my social medias. If you'd like to connect with me on a more intimate level, Leo, uh, my social medias on TikTok and Instagram, both being Simply Velka, same as here. But I hope I can see you in a future tarot reading. I do weekly zodiac readings, so hopefully I can see you there, darling. I love you so much, Leo, and good luck for July. Bye.